Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I am at Helen's Leather Shop here in Boston, Massachusetts. And today we are finally checking out some Lou Casey's. This is the 1883 Mad Dog Goat. Let's get into it. All right, so I know some of you guys out there have been really wanting me to try some Lucases. And I gotta be honest, I've been wanting to do a video about some Lucases for a while now too. Finally, here at Helen's Leather Shop in Boston, I get the chance. This is an 1883 Mad Dog Goat Lucase. It's got a number five toe, which is what Lucase refers to this toe shape. Um, kind of like a snip toe. It's got a single stitched welt here all the way around. And this is a 100% uh, full welt stitch. So there's no pegs in this at all. It's stitched all the way around. <clears throat> this also has a stacked leather heel, cowhide lining, it's full goat. So even the shaft here is goat as well. You got cowhide lining on the inside with a soft leather sole. It's not a hard leather insole. It's uh, It's got some sort of padding as well in there um, compared to the handmade Lucchese Classic, which I'll be doing it in the next video. So stay tuned for that. That one is epic as well. But this insole does have a soft feel to it. This is a really nice boot and I can't wait to try it on so I'm not gonna continue jibber jabbering. It's time to try on these Lucchese 1883 Mad Dog Goats. All right, so this is the 11D, which seems to be my pretty average size. Like I've said before, this is a nice boot. The goat feels nice, like it's soft uh, and supple, but also it feels it feels really tough too. This is a beautiful boot as well. I like the the snip toe. Oops, there's the shadow. I like the snip toe look, also known as the number five toe in Lucchese world. The chocolate color of this, mmm looks great that padded leather lined insole is 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 nice as a lot of you guys know i like the leather insoles over a lot of other foams gels things like that the hard leather insole is where it's at and this one does not have the hard leather insole but still it is really comfortable and right when you put it on like you're getting that spiritual experience which is always dangerous for me as you guys know mm. it's just a really good looking boot it feels great too so the one thing that i don't like about this boot is that i'm getting the wrinkle at the toe box and that could be because i have a size too big you know, and as this boot breaks in, that wrinkle at the toe box is gonna get more pronounced. So I'm gonna try a half size smaller. So I'm in the 10 and a half D now, and this is a, a much more snug fit, obviously, but I kinda like this fit a little bit better. Um, and I'm getting much less crease at the actual toe box. So if I was to buy this pair right now, I would probably go with the 10 and a half D um, just because I like the snugness around the wide part of the foot. Uh, I still have the heel slip, so it's not really, really, really tight. Like you still want some heel slip in a cowboy boot, right? But you can't have your foot choked off completely and the leather is gonna stretch. You gotta remember that too. So I think that I would be better off going with a 10.5D for Lucchese 1883 Mad Dog Goat here. I, I, like the, I like the look and the feel. 
and the potential wear of the 10 and a half a lot better, a lot better. Here, let me show you from first person so you can get uh, the side by side comparison. This Mad Dog Go Luke Casey is an amazing boot, especially when I got the right fit. I mean, that's something that I think you should really pay attention to when you're trying on boots, especially of a higher quality, a higher make like Luke Casey is known for. You know, it's, it's important to find the right fit. It's gotta be comfortable, it's gotta be snug. You know, you don't want too much of a cramping at your toes, but it has to be uh, snug at the widest part of your foot, right? And you still need a little bit of that heel slip. The thing is, is that you don't want it to be too big because as it will break in and as the boot settles, you're gonna get some weird creases here and there, and the boot is just not gonna look as good as it could. Playing with different sizes, depending on the company, is just something that you're gonna need to keep in mind when looking at new boots, which is why it's so important to come to places, uh, boot stores, and try on boots, like Helen's Leather Shop here uh, in Boston. I mean, you, you wanna go to these small places to try on boots. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, an internet world now where you can just have boots delivered to your door, but there's something to be said to be playing around with those half sizes just like we did today. So I'm a huge fan of this Lucchese boot. It's a beautiful, beautiful boot. It fits amazingly. And if you are in the Boston area, you got to stop by here. And if you are, you know, let me know. Maybe I'll meet up with you. I think that would be a fun time. So Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, let me know what you think of these Luke Casey 1883 Mad Dog Goat boots down in the comment. Smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Development on the Luke Casey Mad Dog Goat. Kevin here donates Mad Dog Goat Roper Luke Casey's. Huge thanks to Kevin for donating these Mad Dog Goat Ropers for the giveaway. I'll do a uh, random drawing next week. Thanks again, Kevin. You heard right, we're doing a giveaway for the Mad Dog Goat Lucchese Ropers here. And this is, a, this is a handmade one. So it's not the 1883 like we reviewed in this video, but still, Mad Dog Goat, it's a beautiful boot. It's eight and a half D. To win these boots, make sure you're subscribed and fill out the form at the link in the description. And then next Monday on Coffee and Music number 350, I will choose a winner at random and I'll send you these Lucchese Mad Dog Goat Ropers. These are Lucchese Classics. They are handmade boots. You won't want to miss out. They're eight and a half D if I didn't say that already. And what I'm doing is there will be a giveaway in December. Basically, every time you enter a giveaway, you get an extra entry into that December giveaway. Now, I don't know what that December giveaway will be yet, but I know that I want to do something to reward the folks who've been with me for a while, and then next year we'll sort of start over from scratch and do the same thing. So we've had three giveaways so far, I think, where I can count this, two or three. Uh, but the more that you enter, the better chance you have of winning the giveaway in December. So make sure that you subscribe and fill out that form in the description, and then I will choose a winner next Monday on Coffee and Music 350. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and a huge thanks to Kevin for donating these boots. That was awesome. I will see you guys next time. Peace. As you can see with the Mad Dog Goat 1883 Luke You gotta get out there and try several different pairs To find a boot that fits precisely My name is Jeremiah Craig Thank you for watching today while you're here, why don't you hit that subscribe below? Cause we're going places, we're going places, don't you know? Ha. 
I'll see you next time.